Good morning to everybody. Today is April 12th, 2021. Um, we're like almost halfway through this month, and then we're down to uh, to May, and then we're we're into summer. So uh, we're we're moving forward. I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, I hope you guys are safe and healthy, all that good stuff. We are we are getting really close to kind of finishing up. Um, some of our work here on the Dyst life and dystopia workshop. Okay, so this is the third workshop that we've been able to do this this school year. Um, and uh, let's see, on Thursday I had you guys do a revision of your um, of your character analysis. Okay, so what I would like to do today, you guys should be able to go in and make corrections. To your character analysis based on what your partner did for you okay uh, your partner and also your self-reflection okay so go in I want you to make some adjustments to those and I'm going to have a spot for you guys to turn in kind of a final draft of your character analysis so make sure guys that you have have a great thesis sentence okay uh, that you have good um, main ideas okay that you have good um, evidence to support your main ideas. Uh, also, make sure that you, you use transition words. We talked about transition words. Okay, so make sure that you're, that you're using all of those, um, all of those things. Um, okay, so today we are looking at, uh, this is, let's see, what page is this? I'm not sure. I think it's 173, 174. 173 and 174, okay? And we are looking at um, a day on the job, okay? So this uh, this lady's name is, I think it's Charisse Maloto. What makes a book like The Hunger Games a bestseller? First, it takes a talented author to write a great story. Next, it takes a team of experts to create a buzz about it. Meet Charisse Maloto. It's her job to help turn a book into a blockbuster. Okay, so um, her job is to go out and and uh, promote the books and to to you know really kind of push them so that they become a a hit. You know when they are when they're a good book and they feel like it will it could be a hit. Okay, that's what a blockbuster means. It's just like a big hit. Okay, something popular. Okay, so here is a kind of a, a day in the life of this lady named Charisse. Do you wonder what it's like to be a publicist? Here's a look at a full day on the job with Charisse. Okay, at 7.30 a.m., I might be at a TV studio in New York with one of our authors, taping a show. If it's a live interview, I'll meet with the author first to discuss key points to say about the book or to anticipate questions that might be asked. My motto is, be prepared. Okay. 8 o'clock a.m. While the author's on TV, I'm just steps away. But you'll never see me. My job is to stay out of the spotlight. On tour, I'm like the author's coach. I offer support and guidance. I arrange interviews, events, and public appearances. It's a chance for authors to meet their readers. I want to make sure that everyone has a great experience. I love bringing authors in front of kids. Seeing the excitement around books and reading is a, is truly rewarding. Okay, 8.30 a.m. when I'm in New York, I'll be at the office. I answer emails, go to meetings, and talk with staff about the day's priorities. 9.30 a.m. We have team meetings to talk about what everyone is doing. I create publicity campaigns for authors and books. The team arranges press coverage for events and plans author tours to promote new books. During a meeting... I keep an eye on emails. I might have to step out to deal with an emergency related to an author event or interview. It's not unusual for me to have over 600 emails in my inbox. At 11.30 a.m. in my office, talking with authors or writing press releases. What makes an effective press release? It needs a catchy headline or like a thesis statement, right guys? It, might be, it must be short, no more than a page, and it has to get right to the point. 1 o'clock p.m., usually lunch and a media event. 
with an author. If the author is a celebrity with a super busy schedule, we'll book several events in a row. I usually have two phones and a tablet with me so I can keep up with emails and read manuscripts. 3.30 p.m., more meetings with the editorial marketing and sales teams. We collaborate to come up with the best plan to promote an author and book. For some people, at 5.30 p.m., for some people, this, this would be the end of the workday. For me, it's part two. When we're promoting a new book, there may be evening bookstore events or press interviews. If there's a public event, I make sure the author is there on time and has what he or she needs. And I make sure the public is there, too. Okay, 9 o'clock p.m., home, exhausted, but energized. Okay. All right, so upside, uh, she gets to meet authors and readers. Um, and then the downsides, downside is she sounds like she is extremely busy and ever full email box. She says, okay, always busy, always something else to answer. Okay. All right. For time's sake, guys, I, th I think what we will do, um, we will save this for tomorrow, but you're going to write a press, press release. When a new book comes out, a publicist makes sure the public knows about it. How do publicists publicists inform potential readers and get them interested in the book they write press releases now you will do the same so we'll we will focus on this tomorrow okay um so we'll focus on that tomorrow um for today your focus should be getting through this kind of thinking about it thinking about this lady's job okay so if is is that something you would like not like you know and 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 honestly it's there are publicists for a lot of different there are publicists for athletes there are uh they do it for for bands or singers um this one in particular is for authors okay um but there are a lot of jobs that people you know promote other people so uh is that something that you would enjoy do you think Okay, start to think about that a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this, upload it to uh, to our canvas. Okay, let's start to think about it. Um, and your other your book work assignment, um, rather than in the book work today, is going to be turn in a final draft. Uh, go make revisions of your paper and get that turned in. Awesome guys, have a great day, and uh, we'll go from there.